Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a good day so far. I am just outside with Maggie. I apologize for my voice. <laughs> I'm a little congested. Hi, Mags. <laughs> Getting some sunshine. Just kind of waking up. You want to go inside? Okay, hold on. But anyway, good morning. I thought it'd be fun to film a little what I eat in a day today. Um, it's Friday, which on Friday mornings I get up and get ready and I have tennis from 9 to 10.30. I play with a group on Friday morning, so we're getting ready to head off to that. So before I go, I think I'm going to start my day, well, I started my day with a cup of coffee with some collagen um, powder in it. <laughs> and now, before I head off to tennis, I think I'm going to make myself a little smoothie. I never follow a smoothie recipe. I just kind of throw in what sounds good on the day. I have some sliced frozen banana. I also had some frozen blueberries on hand, so I added just a handful of those. My favorite milk of choice in my smoothie is almond milk. I do the unsweetened, and I do about, I'd say about eight ounces or so, and it just makes the smoothie so creamy and delicious. I recently got this Love Sweat Fitness plant protein and it's the peanut butter flavor and it tastes a lot like PB2 powder except it's I think it's 20 or 23 grams of protein and it's delicious. I also decided to add some sprouted rolled oats on this day just for some additional carbs for that energy. I did about a quarter cup or so. And the last thing I added was just a handful of baby spinach just to get some greens in and then I blended that up and it was really tasty. Got my smoothie, I'm sipping on it on the way to tennis. We are stopped at the gas station. What are you gonna eat this morning, Graham? I'm gonna get a juice, a juice. and a powdered donut. Powdered donuts. <laughs> so I better keep drinking this, so. I stay on track. <laughs> it's really good though. I've been on a health journey for the last 15 months or so. Um, and I've lost since the beginning of 2023 around 90 pounds, give or take. Um, but the funny thing is during the beginning, like the, the bigger chunk of my journey I was weighing myself every single day just trying to hold myself accountable and it also helped me learn what foods affected my body in different ways um, but as I lost more and more weight I stopped weighing as often which I think is pretty normal but something that's really interesting over the last six months or so is that the scale has only dropped probably about three pounds but I feel like my clothes fit differently. I, I can see more definition in my muscle. Um, I feel like my body is still changing. And it's constantly this frustration of, well, I don't really wanna weigh myself because the scale hasn't moved, but I wanna see what progress I'm making. And that is why I'm so excited to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by FitTrack. This beautiful skill right here <laughs> I have been using daily every single day again for probably the last month or so and what's really really cool about this scale in particular is that it's actually a body composition monitor and it measures 17 different forms of body composition rather than just your weight. So there are a lot of things to consider and factor when it comes to body composition. Your body can still be making changes even though you're not seeing the number on the scale move. It's been tested against the DEXA scan. So if you've ever done like a full DEXA body composition, this scale here is voted the most accurate in-home scale. So if you're somebody that likes to check your body composition regularly and see what's going on and checking in, this scale is for you. So the scale comes with a free app that allows you to track your progress, check in daily, and just kind of see where you're at. And there's so much value in this because it kind of defeats that entire um, weight plateau issue altogether. Sometimes I'll go in and I'll weigh in and 
you know, I've maybe eaten a few things I shouldn't have eaten the day before. And normally I would go and weigh in the next day and feel so discouraged because, you know, let's say the scale says I'm up four pounds or something. Obviously we all know that's not four pounds of fat. And being able to actually look in the app and say, yeah, my weight's up a little bit, but my body fat percentage is down or my water weight is up. It really gives you a close-up look at every different measurement of your body. I opened the Whom app here and I have like about a month's worth of data because I've been weighing myself every single day and there are so many things in here I can track whether it's my muscle mass, my fat mass, my weight, my bone mass, my BMI, uh, my body water percentage, my body weight without fat. Like there's, there's so much that I could unpack here. But the two things I've been tracking closely are my body fat percentage. So it's really neat to hop on the scale, see that the scale hasn't changed at all. And what that's telling me is that my body fat percentage is actually down, let's say 0.4% on the day, and my muscle mass is up a little bit. And so that's good. That's what we want. We want to see that body fat percentage continue to go down and the muscle percentage to continue to go up for me right now based on my goals. Um, another thing that I've been tracking pretty closely is my um, metabolic rate my BMR. And what's really cool is that here in the app, um, my I'm given a BMR, which right now mine is currently um, 1361. And that's kind of in the standard range. It's actually, actually right in the middle. And it gives me a metabolic age. And the age it gave me is 29. <laughs> so that's pretty good. But what that means is how healthy is your metabolism? What foods are you eating? How often are you eating? you know, your exercise, so much of that plays a role in your metabolic health. And so keeping my eye on that has been really cool to see. I think when I first downloaded the app and tried it, it said my metabolic age was 31. So just kind of knowing my metabolism is continuing to improve as um, I'm making tweaks and changes to my diet is really cool. The really cool feature is that in the Whom app, you can sync up your Apple Watch or whatever health device you use to track things like steps and calories and your sleep and all of that good stuff. The app also offers plans and programs and coaching, so many awesome tools to utilize. And so FitTrack is awesome. They have a 50% off sale going on on their website right now. But if you use the code Amy Fritz in all caps at checkout, you will receive an additional 20% off on top of that existing sale. So you do not want to miss this opportunity to get this incredible body composition monitor. It's it's a game changer, honestly. So again, check out all the details in my description below. And thanks FitTrack again for sponsoring today's video. Okay, friends, I am back from tennis. And then after tennis, I got a quick run in. Um, so I got my workout in for the day. I'm feeling really good. I've been trying to drink lots of water and just kind of flush fluids through my body. I've been drinking my Element electrolytes, like just trying to get all the fluids in that I can because I'm just kind of fighting. I don't know if it's allergies or a cold, but I've been battling some congestion. Um, but regardless, <laughs> it is now. What time is it? It's 12.30. Uh, almost 1240 now and so I'm gonna make some lunch and to be honest I have been pretty lazy with my lunch game lately if I can make it quick within five minutes then I'm happy I've been doing lots of like little kind of snack <laughs> lunches um, but today I think we'll make a sandwich and then um, I'll probably just throw a couple things on the side so I'm gonna kind of open my fridge and just use what I have on hand. It's the end of the week, so I need to be going grocery shopping here in the next couple of days. So usually by the end of the week, I'm just kind of eating what's left. <laughs> if you're someone who's trying to eat a little healthier, maybe even lose some weight, don't neglect the power of a sandwich. I know sometimes we think, oh, sandwich is too much bread or carbs or whatever. Choose a bread that's right for you. I'm using Dave Killer Bread. It's 70 calories a slice, has tons of fiber, 
And then I'm just keeping my ingredients pretty simple here. Turkey, cheese, some pickles, onion, mayo, mustard. And this is filling, satiating, high protein. It's delicious. It's a great way to stay full all afternoon. And then on the side, I was feeling a little fancy. I had a bunch of cherry tomatoes and cucumbers and some fresh mozzarella on hand. So I just made a little side salad, a little caprese. All I did was chop up the ingredients, season it with some salt and pepper, and then I keep balsamic reduction sauce in my fridge. I just keep it on hand. I buy it at the grocery store, and that's what I drizzle on top, and it is so good, you guys. I will be eating it all summer long when we have fresh produce from the garden. Okay, I've got my delicious sandwich and salad here in front of me. I've also got a cherry limeade poppy. Um, I've been really enjoying these sodas. They're like a prebiotic soda with only five grams of sugar, 25 calories. So I don't have these all the time, maybe once or twice a week, but um, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. And um, yeah, I'm excited to dive into lunch and I'll check back in later. It's a little bit later in the afternoon now and I am getting hungry. I'm really hungry today, probably because I got several workouts in already. And, um, you know, every day looks different for me. I have different goals depending on how much I'm running, what workouts I'm doing, is it a rest day? Like every day looks different. So definitely take what I eat in a day um, with a grain of salt and just know that not every day looks the same. Um, some days in the afternoon, I try to avoid snacking altogether. I just kind of drink more water and kind of just push through until dinner. Other days, I focus on getting more protein in, so I might have some beef jerky or some cottage cheese or Greek yogurt or something of that sort. And then there are days like today where I'm feeling very hungry and I have a bit of a sweet tooth and I'm doing pretty well as far as my macros go on the day. So I'm just gonna allow myself to enjoy a little treat. And so I've been buying these acai bowl bases from Sam's Club, they're delicious. I've also gotten similar ones at Kroger and um, maybe even Aldi, I don't know. Most grocery stores have them in the freezer section. This comes with the acai base, which is jam-packed with antioxidants. Um, I like this one a lot because it's organic. And then it's got the berries and the granola. I'm going to try to just use a little bit of the granola, not too, too much, because granola can actually be really high in sugar and calories. And while this is a sweet treat, I'm going to um, just use a little bit of this. But anyway, I say all that to say I'm gonna make myself a yummy, high antioxidant, sweet, delicious, nutritious snack. Um, I've got my acai base here. So this has been thawing for a little while and it's got the acai, it's got blueberries and strawberries on top. And then to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of the granola, a little bit of sliced banana, some chia seeds for some added fiber, some hemp seeds for some added um, fiber and protein, and then some coconut flakes. These are unsweetened, and this is more just for the taste. I love coconut. And we will have ourselves a very yummy snack. that not just look so fresh and delicious oh I would eat these every day <laughs> but 
you know, again, they're just really good antioxidant, lots of good fiber in here. And it's just such a yummy treat when I have that sweet tooth. And um, it's been, it's been a really yummy snack for me. So good. <laughs> now it's dinner time. I'm getting started on dinner a little bit earlier than I typically do, just cause it's gonna take me a little while to make tonight. But I'm gonna make kind of my take on the creamy, the feta block pasta bake. If you've seen that go around on TikTok or Instagram, this is kind of my take on it. Um, and it's got a little bit of a Mediterranean flair. I'm also gonna be adding some salmon. So what you're gonna need for the dish, take a nine by 13. You're going to need a block of creamy feta. I like the boar's head one a lot. Um, I'm doing just a pound of salmon. So it was like one large filet. I didn't want a ton in there, just a little bit. And then for the pasta that I'm using, I'm using the Barilla Protein Plus Rotini. So I'm going to get my water going here in a second. But this is great. It is plant-based protein. Um, from pea, chickpea, and lentils. And um, it's really not too bad. It's got 10 grams of protein to serving, five grams of fiber, it's good stuff. So we're gonna get the water boiling for that. So I've got my nine by 13 dish. I'm going to open up my block of feta. Okay, we've got a helper here. <laughs> okay, why don't you go ahead and put the cheese right in the middle of the pan, can you do that? Just put, it, just put it right down. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so we got our block of feta. Then we're going to take our salmon. Do you like salmon, Graham? Yeah. Yeah. I love it so much with the ones I had. Um, I love it so much. I love it this I know. Much. Okay, can you push the salmon into the pan for me? And this is the part I really need your help with, okay? Okay. Okay, so we got the salmon in there. Now I need you to pull all the tomatoes off the vine and put it in the pan. How much tomatoes? All of them. Oh, that's gonna be a lot. I know, so we've got our cherry tomatoes here. We're just putting them in the pan with the feta. Graham's gonna do that. I've got some basil here, but, or I'm sorry, not basil, spinach here, but I'm not gonna add this until the end, but I wanted to let you know spinach. I do have some basil as well, we'll add and some garlic. I've got a clove of garlic here, but for now, while Graham's- Look, look at this big tomato. Oh, wow. While Graham's adding the tomatoes, I'm gonna cut up some zucchini and put some zucchini in here as well. I'm helping mommy um, help look. And we have, and I have to take all of these off and put them on here. Mm -hmm. That looks like a yummy dinner. And we even gonna have salmon and cucumbers. <laughs> zucchini. Oh yeah. Now that we've got our pan, Graham got all the tomatoes in there, I got the zucchini, the salmon, and then we've got the feta. We're gonna take some olive oil. Oh, I'll put it in. Okay. You typically to this, just salt, pepper, garlic powder, well, yeah. maybe some Italian seasoning. Like you shake it, you shake it. Yeah, you want to shake it? Yeah. Just like this, we got our olive oil, our seasoning, kept it really simple. This is just gonna go in the oven for about 30 minutes. Okay, I think I told you guys 350, it's actually 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. While the feta and veggies and salmon are cooking, the only thing I have left to do really is chop up some basil and some garlic that we'll add at the end. Okay, noodles are cooking. Got about 10 minutes left on that goodness and salad is made. So now we just kinda 
sit back and wait. It looks and smells so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is add a bunch of this basil in that I have here, as well as a bunch of chopped garlic. Just fresh garlic, nothing better. And then I'm gonna start spooning in my pasta and spinach kind of simultaneously. We're gonna just hope it wilts quickly. And then all we have to do now is kind of start combining the cheese, the tomato sauce. And I'm just gonna top this with some Parmesan. Yum. Oh my word, you guys. This looks so good. Okay guys, it's much later now at this point. Um, I've been watching America's Funniest Home Videos with my daughter Emma. My boys are already asleep, but oh my gosh, who remembers that show? <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but before I go to bed tonight, I'm gonna make my protein cocoa that I have been loving lately. I don't make it every single night, but on really hard workout days or on nights I just really want to prioritize recovery and making sure I get a good night's sleep so um, tonight I'm doing this core power chocolate um, protein milkshake it's got 26 grams of protein I'm probably gonna drink half of it and Caleb can have the other half I'm just gonna steam this in the microwave just pour it in a little measuring cup heat it up and then I do one scoop of the Beam Dream Nighttime Blend for Better Sleep, the cinnamon cocoa flavor. I've been buying this stuff for a few months now and I really love it. It's kind of pricey, but man, it works. Um, it works really well. And so again, on nights, I just want to make sure I get a good night's sleep. I have a little bit of this and it's really delicious. It has magnesium, it has melatonin, it has um, reishi, it's got all kinds of adaptogens in it and so really really good for recovery and getting a good night's sleep. So we'll make that up and um, I'll show you what it looks like and how it tastes here in a second. Cheers, guys. Oh my goodness, it is so good. <laughs> it's kind of addicting, but um, I hope that you enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day. Hope it gave you some recipe ideas, inspiration on meals that I ate during my weight loss journey, but things that I'm continuing to eat now that I'm kind of maintaining that weight loss and just trying to live 
a healthier life. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with a friend and subscribe if you're new here today. I would love to have you. I have lots of videos on my channel just like this, so check them out. And um, I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.